Hey, what's it going, y'all? STS here. Look at you, brand new, simple review. I'm here in my messy kitchen, my studio. And we are in luck. You are in luck for a new, uh, a new, the last, you know, I'm right here. This is the very, I mean, I do got Annabelle Creation, which I probably will upload to. Um, you know, we're just going to do it. I, I did, I mean, this is basically $1.99, uh, I think. $1.99, simple review. Uh, but Annabelle Creation is, I'm going to put Annabelle Creation in front of this. So this is basically 200 basically. So this is basically 200 but this is also the very last episode of Simple Review. And But I'm not going away. It's just the Simple Review name. I want something like STS versus the movies or whatnot, or slamming movies. I, I'll probably slamming movies. I'm probably going to do that one maybe because I'm a wrestling fan slamming the movies or slamming movies or something like that. But this is it, number 200 here. Uh, this is right here thanks to Tubi TV. So right now I want you guys, you have Xbox One, Roku, or whatnot, Tubi, T -U -B -I .TV. Uh, Go on there. Uh, get an account. It's free. Uh, just... There, this site has been one of the best sites I've ever, I mean, one of the best streaming video movies slash TV series in such a long time. This is like the, this is like the fucking damn, uh, this is like the damn alternative to Netflix. There's certainly Hulu and everything else. I haven't been on Hulu in a while. That's the reason why I got Hulu before because of the movies. But this right here, Tubi TV, is amazing. I hope they will have a premium, sir, a pre premium service soon because the only lack, the only thing I hate about Tubi TV is it's it's fucking too many advertisements. But I'm not about to say I was in like they have so many horror movie. There's so many horror movies that I've never got to see. They be on here, so be on the looks for that. And it's October's coming up. There's a lot of fucking horror movies. I'm gonna be watching a lot. And tune this month too. But here we are, Invasion USA, 1985, Chuck Norris. I did Chuck Norris, I did some few Chuck Norris films in the past, but by far, I think this is probably one of my favorite Chuck Norris films of all time. I've seen, I heard about this damn uh, um, movie because of the uh, um, the canon, uh, the uh, canon film, I think it's the canon film, yeah, canon, the film... Uh, this uh, this canon film, I mean, blah, blah, blah. the canon uh, f documentary, the film agency, the f they made a bunch of movies, uh, low budget films and whatnot. I believe their their eighties their eighties movies are subpar so beats the nineties because I did the Hitman with Chuck Norris, which I couldn't couldn't stand. This right here, fucking good. This is like one of the best action films I've ever seen because also it's mostly you see the bad guys. Whooping, uh, just killing our asses, our American asses. Like the very damn s first scene, it's just like these Cuban uh, refugees or whatever, these families or whatever, trying to get to the uh, U.S. of A. for a the American dream. Well, they they they're met by these uh, Americans, which I'm like, it just looked very like this is a diversion, and it was. And these mother, and I tell you what, rest off. Um. Like Richard Lynch plays him, Mikhail Ristoff, he is got to be one of the most ruthless villains in any kind of movie I've ever seen. This motherfucker does not give no shit, but no, he's a Russian. But I mean, they all kill by the very first part of the end, and that's how it starts. I mean, we getting our asses kicked. I mean, he's got. I mean, he's this fucking Russian, fucking Soviet piece of shit. Who gives no shit about fucking Americans? He don't care if you're a fucking baby. He don't care if you're a fucking kid. Hell, they try to kill so many kids in this film. Like the scene where they fight. And I'm gonna be talking spoilers in and out, so I don't really care because this is a an action film. So basically, I mean, but I mean, so many kids could have been killed in that bomb scene if it wasn't for Chuck Norris to get them, to, to throw it away and shit, and throw it back to the fucking bastards, the Russians, or whoever the fuck they are, because it's terrorists and shit. They disguise themselves as our own people, the army and shit, and then they have the cops that are disguised as, and then they go after and kill these motherfucking people, then they realize, oh, it, well, the, 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 the Cubans and everybody thinking all the cops are the same, and they throw rocks at them, which is really the real cops. 
But you don't see Chuck Norris. Well, he's in the film throughout, but he's basically he's an ex-CIA man. He's uh, his name on here is uh, Matt Hunter, ex-CIA, and he lives. He basically been through all the shit and everything, and he he basically lives, which I couldn't live in. He lives in this fucking swamplands of Florida or somewhere. And with alligators and shit, and he has this little shack and everything. He's a pet armadillo. But in 47 minutes, you don't see uh, him in action. Except when he gets out, when fucking Mikhail uh, Restoff and his little fucking crew bomb his fucking place up, kill his friend and everything. Uh, but once, but it just leads on. It's, it, it reminds me of Walker, it's like his TV show, Walker Takes This Ranger. And never got old. I always loved when dumbass motherfuckers, the bad guys, they win in the, like, the very beginning and whatnot. And you just know at the very end, or there's a two-parter, that, you know, Chuck Norris is not that far behind. He's going to whoop some motherfucking ass. Um, the story's very simple. These fuckers are going to terrorize. They're going to go after the world. I mean, they're, gonna, they're trying to terrorize the United States. I mean, one of the scenes I liked is when they all come down, like, the U-boats. Like, where the fuck they are from the from D-12, D-Day. There's boats coming up, killing the bitches and shit. There, there is some titties in there in a scene where they're at a strip club. Uh, but, you know, the scenes are when they blow up, when Mikhail just blows up every fucking thing. I mean, I love the scenes. One of my first scenes, I mean, the, he blows up everybody's house. It's they, they take these little these little heartwarming scenes like it's a family movie. And they just put it as a radar film. Just blew it, blowing everybody's motherfucker up with his families. And then the mall scene. And that's when Chuck Norris comes in fine because he's pissed off because they blew up his house and everything. And he's going to go after his motherfuckers. And I enjoyed this. I mean, this isn't a quick uh, movie and shit. I mean, the action was unbelievable. Uh, this nonstop, this, the scenes were just, oh, so good. My dad doesn't like Chuck Norris. I think he was all right. And these films are just, his words and everything, and bits the fights, the martial arts and everything, the fights he does. Um, but, you know, at the very end, you know, when they, they fucking get, well, he killed, what's his fucking face? Uh, what the fuck's his name? Nico. Yeah, Nico was the other guy. He he was his little his other partner, Rostov's partner. He was a shit. <laughs> and at the very end, though, they they well they the thing the part I really give a fuck about, and the only negative I can say about this film is that the cops or the the, the FBI caught Norris because he's the vigilante and whatnot. And you know, oh, what's that? It's hot tight Michael Myers shirt I got. Cheap plug. Um, I just didn't. But when they took him in, and then he said this when he wasn't getting the custody, he's like, it's he looked in the screen like he, the people knew he was like, you had anything to say? And he's like, it's time to die, Rustoff. I'll be there. And then they get, they like, oh, we're gonna go after him now. Let's go. So they go to the the center police station. They have all this fucking people. So they've been shooting, killing everybody throughout this whole film. They try to bomb fucking damn uh, the school bus with kids. So Chuck Norris has to come save the fucking day. And at the very end, though, you don't see what fucking happens. There's no interrogation scene, which they say there'll be an interrogation scene. No, there's nothing like that. He just comes out at the top of the fucking hell pad, gets an uh, RPG, shoots down fucking Rust off fucking support to get out of the motherfucker. And then they get fu it was a trap all along. So basically, ha ha, the fucking Americans get the last laugh. Uh, but I mean, they they but the last school scene, the worst scene when they have all these fucking damn these tanks that we we will bass America number one. Uh, move over, Iron Sheik, America number one. Um, but and then I think the very last scene, you know, with him rest off, it was what Death Wish three took off of. Because I think Death Wish three. What came after this film because this is a 1985 film. Death Wish 3. Same year! So basically, this film was in the same year of this film. And also, Death Wish 3 is also on Tubi TV. And Death Wish 3 is my favorite Death Wish. And, uh, I, you know, that's some, that's some abrasive shit. I mean, that film. Was something else, and that's another canon film. But I mean, this right here, I absolutely this is basic. This is rewatchable. I would watch this film again uh, if I saw it in a pawn shop, for, as in a DVD, Blu-ray, whatever. I would put it in my collection. I mean, this was a one uh, Vision USA as one Chuck Norris film I always wanted to see. And when I saw that in Tubi TV, it's like wow. I mean, there's just so many fucking classics that's on here.
and I enjoyed it. But Invasion USA, 1985, gets a fucking A+. Plus, and you are the very last simple review, Invasion USA. So I'm going to go... And this is it, the last few. So uh, I'm going to put this in the, the playlist, but next it's going to be, I'm going to start, it's going to be 201, but it's going to be a new playlist. So I'm going to go back to do uh, numbers. I'm going to go back. I'm still going to do the same one because I did so many reviews. It's going to be 200 and, well, I'm going to go, yeah, I'm just going to keep going, but it's going to be a different format, but it's still going to be 201. Like it's gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm, I'm numbering all the reviews I've done. Because that's something that no one else does. Is like you know, because also my channel is not just based on movies. It's based on vlogs of my son and rants and drunk rants, me bitching and moaning, pissed off, wrestling stuff, me smoking pot, me fucking doing tasting reviews. So I mean, it's gonna be a new uh, format, slamming movies. So that's basically what it is. I mean, it's either gonna be STS versus the movies or slamming movies. Welcome to slamming movies, which is probably gonna be slamming movies. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out Invasion USA. Check out Tubi TV or where the fuck it is. If you can't, if I can't understand, if I can't pronounce it right, just go on fucking YouTube and search it, uh, or I mean Google it. It is outstanding. One of the best streaming sites. I mean, there's so many fucking good films and there's shows there that I haven't seen forever. And there's all these cult classic shit. I call it the day's video of Netflix. I mean. But I am STS. Thank you again for watching these simple reviews. I have did 200. Well, then my playlist, it says I did over 190-something, which I don't know. I, it's all confusing, but I don't really give a fuck. But we are here, and this is at the end of the simple review name. And stay tuned for Slamming Movies. I'm STS. Peace.